Hello everyone, welcome to Pencool Math Mania. My name is Captain Is123 and today we will be working on solving problems with fractions. Gabriel understands the concept of fractions, but he needs help naming them. He goes to his teacher to help him. Before Sir begins to help, he asks Gabriel if he understands what the numerator and denominator of fractions represent. Gabriel correctly answers that the denominator represents the number of equal parts that the whole is divided into, while the numerator represents the number of selected parts. Sir begins with a circle and cuts it into two equal parts. He shades one of the parts and asks Gabriel what his numerator and denominator would be. Gabriel identifies the numerator to be 1 and the denominator to be 2. Sir then explains that when naming fractions, the numerator is called first and the denominator after. The fraction that represents one part out of two is read as one half. Two parts out of two would be read as two halves. Sir then cuts a rectangular block into three equal pieces. He shades one piece out of the three. Gabriel identifies the numerator as 1 and the denominator as 3. Sir again shows him that we put the numerator first and the denominator second. The fraction 1 part out of 3 is 1 third. If 2 parts were shaded out of the 3, this fraction would be 2 thirds. When the denominator is 4, our fractions are quarters. Hence, if 3 parts are shaded out of 4, the fraction would be named 3 quarters. When the denominator is 5, our fractions are fifths. Hence, if 2 parts are shaded out of 5, the fraction is named 2 fifths. Let us attempt to name the following fractions. What would we name the fraction shown? There are five parts shaded out of six. Hence, we would name our fraction five sixths. What would we name the fraction shown? There are seven parts shaded out of 10. Hence, we would name our fraction seven tenths. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on pinnacle.com to earn points and win great prizes.